In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 39, I want you to listen very well. Please listen. Thou shalt plant vineyard and dress them, but shalt, shalt neither drink of the wine, nor gather the grapes. For the worms, take note of that, for the worms eat them. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, my life receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Say, my life receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. And by the grace of God, <coughs> our today's topic is dream about maggots. Dream about maggots. Maggot is a small worm that is found in decaying, in decaying garbage, flesh, meat, and other foods. Dream about maggot could indicate that there's something in your life that is disgusting, that that thing needs to be corrected. That is maggot dream. Maggot. When you are talking about maggot, you are talking about uncleanliness. And you are talking about uncleanliness, then automatically you are talking about pollution, defilement, you are talking about sin, you are talking about somebody has been condemned, rejected, somebody has been living a life of disfavor and all that. Please stay tuned and watch this video to the end. Watch it to the end because you are going to gain a lot from this broadcast about dreams about maggot when we are talking about maggot without wasting most of your time number one it represents loss of virtues number two it represents sickness unto death number three it represents unfulfilled desires number four it represents chronic rejection number five it represents faulty foundation number six it represents fruitless work Number seven, it represents demonic causes. Number eight, it represents evil smear. Number nine, it represents number nine, it represents disfavor. Then number ten, it represents mistake and regret. Regret. When somebody regrets of doing a certain thing, that thing will become become a challenge to him. You regret doing it, become a challenge to him. Praise the living Jesus. So those are the spiritual meaning behind maggots. Maybe you are seeing maggots everywhere you go. Everywhere you go is maggots. It is a warning signal. It is a warning signal of causes. Maggot everywhere. It means you are not you are in a, you are in an un, unpleasant situation. A very severe situation. Maggot everywhere. Instead of you to be seeing Google things, you are seeing bad, bad things. This is where bad people will be attached to you. This is where you will be, you will be attached to the wrong men, wrong women. They are, you are seeing maggot everywhere. You, the enemy does not want you to see good things. It's only bad, bad things. Bad, bad things. There are people like that. When they wake up, they wake up in bad things. Instead of them to be seeing good things, it's bad, bad things. So those maggots everywhere you see... It shows that your life needs serious deliverance. Serious deliverance. Maggot everywhere. If that maggot everywhere is in the house, it means that house needs thorough deliverance. If that maggot everywhere is in the office, it means you're about to be restrained, sack in that office. If that seeing that maggot everywhere in, the, in your place of shop, then it shows that you're about to lose your investment. Because maggots will surely lead to, they are eating something. They are devourer. Maggots eat something. So what are they eating? They are eating your sweat, your struggle. I pray for you. Every power that is using worms to kill you, to kill your star, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. If you are seeing maggot in your mouth, maggot is in your mouth, then it means that you have no authority again. Maggot is in your mouth. Maggot, that mouth does not command does not command that authority when you are binding and casting out. 
because your mouth has committed evil. The Bible says, the death and life are in the power of the tongue. There's something in that your mouth that is working against your prayers. You are praying to God, but that prayer is not, it's not even going anywhere. does not produce results. There's something in your mouth. Perhaps there might be something you might have said out. Say out of anger and other things. Those are the worms. They are the powers holding your, bringing sin in your mouth, altar of your mouth. You need to confess them out to Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. If you are seeing maggot in your hand, maggot is in your hand, then it tells you that hand has been caused. That hand has been caused. Maggot has been caused. It means that that hand is sick spiritually. The hand is sick. That hand, that hand is not even, does not even complete a thing. Even there are some people to start something, to start a project is becoming a, a serious thing for them. Let alone of completing that thing. Those are the signs. There is holes, holes in your hand, and the 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 plans of the enemy concerning that worms in your hand is to eat up the blessings of your hand, and at the same time it means that your hands have been tied down spiritually. When you see maggot falling on you, falling like a like rain falling on you, ha! You need to go for deliverance. Instead of rain to be falling on you, it is maggot. That is a bad sign of tragedy. That is a bad sign of evil attack. That is an attack upon you. If that maggot is falling on your head, it means the enemy is attacking the glory of your head. They are bewitching you. They are oppressing you. They are oppressing you. Because when that maggot comes upon your body, it is either the maggot stick on your body and start crawling to bring what evil smell. To chase away people away from you. Good people that are supposed to help you. Hey, my sister. Oh, I, pro I, will, I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. I will help you on Monday. Just, I will help you. Don't remind, I will help you. But that Monday comes. You are trying to call that person. The person does not even pick, pick your calls. Those are the powers. Just to make people to run away from you. In some cases, you saw dead mangots. Dead maggot, dead everywhere you go, dead maggot. It's good, it's good, but you still have some prayers to pray. It's good, God. Anything, any of my glory that is attached to this maggot, Lord, let it come out from the body of this maggot. Some enemies can die with a man's blessing. That is why you see somebody that is trying to harm somebody. And unfortunately, that person gave up. And that thing that person stole from you, it has, it has gone with that person in the grave. That is the spirit of maggot. Maggots, they have suck you. And before they, after they suck you, they not died. I pray for you again. Every power that has died with your blessings, I pray, let the power of God revive your destiny in, from the power of the grave in the name of Jesus. In some cases whereby you saw maggots coming out of your head then maggots coming out from your head that is a big deliverance coming out they are coming out they are coming out maybe a pastor is praying or is praying for you as they are praying for you those arrows they are coming out those arrows those demonic marine spirit they are coming out they are coming out from your body then it represents victory so you don't have to stop you have to go and pray very very well that anything that has been planted in my body that thing should be uprooted out in Jesus' name. Then in some cases whereby you saw maggot on your skin. Maggot on your skin. That one, it, it work against favor. That is rejection. Then it means that you, you are being, it means that you are, you are, you are sick. Worms around your body. Worms around your body. It means there's an evil odor around you. An evil odor around you. They are skin. Then it will really work against your marriage. Your marriage fulfillment and breakthrough. And if you are planning to go to a court and you are seeing warm, then it means failure. Then if you are planning to do something spectacular and you are seeing warm in your body, it means that thing will fail. If you are planning to, if you are planning to do something great, then you are seeing warm, then it means that it means disappointment at the head of breakthrough. If you are planning to go for an interview and you are seeing warm, it means that you are going to face bad luck. Praise the living Jesus. Then you dream where you 
you saw big maggots. Big maggot. I believe that that maggot might have sucked so many things. Might have eat, eaten many things. Big maggots. That it showed that there is an ancestral strong man. That is feeding on your blessing. Just like Goliath was trying to confront David. But to the glory of God, David confronted the Goliath. Then there is an ancestral strong man. That has been collecting your blessing in the spirit realm, your finances, your joy. Then you command the power of God to bust that stomach of that big maggot. That thing they have, they have swallowed, they need to vomit them out. Swallowing powers of the ancestral idols in your father's house. They must vomit your blessings in Jesus' name. In some cases whereby you saw, you are finding maggots. Maybe you are trying, to, you discover that there's mango somewhere, but you are finding maggots. Find the maggots. You could not see them. Because that maggots you are finding, they are your enemies. Where are my enemies? You are finding them. You could not see them. Then you need to pray. That God should reveal where your enemies are gathering. God should reveal them to you. So when God reveals them to you, then it will not give you the right place, the right how to tackle that prayers. Praise the living. So that you will not pray off target. Praise the living Jesus. And ask God to reveal secret things to you. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe some cases whereby you saw flies and maggots. There's no way where you where you where you, you see a maggot, there will not be fly. But when you see flies and maggots on your body, flies and maggots on your body, then you have this called evil smell of your father's house. They are following you. How could somebody take for example a mad person? You know a mad person, their their life is always their body is always thinking. Have you ever seen somebody with his right senses and go and meet a madman and say, Oh, madman, shake, shake me and begin to hug that madman? You say, No, God forbid. You start praying against it, unclean spirit. How can I do that? That is what evil that flies and mango represents. It means that that person is mad spiritually. So that person has been condemned. The battles of your father's house does not want people in your family, even your brother and your sisters, to associate with you. Instead of them to see good things in your life, they are seeing bad, bad things. Is that not telling you that there's evil manipulation somewhere? Please pray against evil identity. What you what you are not possessing, they are saying that you are the one, in the, you are the one responsible for your mother's death or, or misfortune in the family. You have to pray. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe if you are killing maggot, then that signifies that you are winning a war. You are in a spiritual warfare with this demonic spirit of your father's house. Maybe in some cases whereby you saw maggot in your floor. Maggot in your floor. When you see maggot in your floor, it will bring stagnation. Setback. Maggot is in your floor. Then it, it tells you there is a restriction. Though you are moving forward, but there will be restriction. Because when a mad when a person see my go, you see my God around your home, even though you have an appointment that time, you would like to sweep away that my God. Do you understand? Before you know it, they may want to hinder you from going to that place. They are they are they are delaying spirits, procrastinating spirits. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in this time around, you are sweeping my God. You are sweeping away my God. You are sweeping them away. Those are rubbish, unclean spirits. Oh, maybe you are affiliating, you are interacting with your friend. You discover that this fellow, ah, my spirit does not go with this man, this, this woman. Then why should I be uh, attaching myself with him? Eh? Look at what this person is doing. How can I attach? Then when you are sweeping, sweeping those things away, then you are saying, I'm separating myself from all these bad, bad things, bad, bad friends, bad family. Bad habits, anger, unforgiveness. You are sweeping them away. They are unclean spirits. Anything, my God, they are unclean spirits. You are sweeping them away. So anything that is standing against your blessings, your sin, you know the sin you are having, sin of unforgiveness, rot, immorality, you have to deal with them. That's what that sweeping away my God means. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases whereby you are eating my God. When you are meat, eating my God, then that shows that you are close to death. You are close to death. 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 You are close to death. You are seeing maggot. It means you are close to death. What they call short life span. As a result of battles. Battles in your foundation.
they were eating maggots, eating contaminated food. Then in some cases whereby you saw maggots in your body, inside your body, maybe in your dream, maybe there's a divine scanning. You saw that there's a maggot in your body. If you're a woman, it means there's a fibroid in your body. And when there's a fibroid spiritually, there will be warm maggots around it. You have to pray. This is not the time for you to say, Jesus, you need to pray. Go for deliverance at mountain of fire. And, and once and for all, and be delivered from this evil plantation, evil seed, witchcraft seed planted in your body. But that thing is enough to retard your progress. That thing is enough to cause sorrow. That thing is enough to scatter your life. To make you to start all over again in life. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe some cases whereby you saw maggot sucking your blood. If maggot is sucking your blood, that is eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 49, it says, I will oppress those people that oppress you. They shall be drinking with their own blood. So any power that is using that warm maggot to suck your blood, whatever they have taken, whether the key of ele elevation, whether the key of your laughter, any of the things they are sucking, ah, Baba, Lord, let them vomit them now in the name of Jesus. What are the way out? The way out is to surrender your life to Christ. The way out is to make rest restitution. The way out is to ask God for divine mercy and forgiveness. The way out, the way out is to deal with that foundational sin, parental sin, that is disgracing, disgracing you. And the way out is to play the blood of Jesus Christ upon your life. The way out, the way out is to read Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. And you should also read Psalm 70, Psalm 2, the way out. And you also read Dwell chapter 2. Verse 22 to 24 or thereabouts. Those are, those are Bible verses are talking about restoration. And the instruction is for you to go on three days prayer and fasting because they are destructive spirits. Prayer and fasting for three days, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Dry fasting, please. No eating, dry fasting. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Holy Ghost and fire. Shake my foundation. Shake my foundation. Shake my foundation. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost and fire. Shake my foundation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Say anything that the enemy has damaged in my life. Oh Lord, repair it. In the name of Jesus. Anything that the enemy has damaged in my life. Oh Lord, repair it. Repair it in the name of Jesus. Repair it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, whether the devil like it or not, I will recover all. I will recover all. Whether the devil like it or not, I will recover all. I will recover my joy. I will recover my gift. I will recover all in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, spirit of disfavor. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirit of disfavor. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayer. Do you have a dreams about worms or maggots? Write them at the comment section. We are going to interpret them by the grace of God. God helping us. So if you have not subscribed to this channel and you are watching me, whether you are for the first time or you are just stumbling upon my, you have been watching me, but you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe now and press the notification button. You will be getting more of my notification. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua. If you have not so into this ministry, kindly so, so, so in a, so in a blessed ministry so that God will expand you. God bless you in Jesus' name.